Hello, in this video of Power BI Do It Yourself Tutorials, we're going to talk about what if analysis. What if analysis we will achieve using the variables which we discussed in the last video. Imagine a situation wherein the impact of a cost increase of various products will have an impact on the gross profit. And that is an analysis which we are going to provide it to our customer, customers wherein we would help to understand the impact of a raw material change or a product change to the entire supply chain process. Now let's do that. Now in order to do that, let's start with the PBIX, the Power BI file, which we used in the previous video. And this is the Google Drive link which you can use to download the data and the file from, from the shared location. Please note that the description is mentioned, this link is mentioned in the description section below. Now create a simple table with product ID, product name, number and, sorry it should be name and quantity. So let's do that. Create a new sheet. Uh, from the product table, bring in the product ID and name, and then from the F sales table, bring in the quantity. Now, we are going to bring in the unit cost as well, but then we are going to make it as an average cost. So this is the unit cost. Let's change the aggregate type to average. So this is my average cost for this product across all the sales. So drag and drop the unit cost and change the aggregate type to average. This step we have already completed. Now create a measure calculation for total cost. The total cost would be average of unit cost multiplied by the quantity. So let's take this and let's create a measure. Right click, new measure and just paste this. So total cost would be average of unit cost multiplied by sales quantity and you just validate it, add the total cost as well. So this is my total cost for a product as well as the quantity. Now let's calculate a variable. Next, create a variable percentage change as fixed decimal number starting from 1 to 100 with increments of 0.1. Now create a slicer as well for the percentage change. So this is a variable which we are going to create very similar to the previous video where we created some variables for top rank functions. Let's go back here, go to modeling and then create the new parameter and make it percentage change. Select in the data type fixed decimal, minimum one, maximum, let's put 100. What if there is a 100% increase, right? And increase by 0.1. Default, let's say one and click on OK. So a slicer is added on the page. Probably have to change the slicer, slicer just a little bit. So here, say single value and then just align it so that it makes more sense. Now just for the, just for the fun sake, let's add a text here which would say what if analysis. We'll add a text box and we would say what if analysis and I'm going to make it center aligned, increase the font, make it underline and there you go. Now 
I'm going to go to the next level and create the new unit cost which would be after increase in the percentage so you can change your over here you can say 6% 630 but there's not going to be any effect yet let me do that so let's create a new measure calculation which is going to be the unit cost new that's going to be average of unit cost which is the unit cost itself and then use this calculation for the average of F sales. So let's do that. It should be 0 0.01, which is B, which is for the percentage. So let's do that. So create a new measure. and just paste it here let me let me just explain you what's going on in here so you're gonna say unit cost new average of f sales and then you're gonna say percentage change there you go and remove this percentage because that's extra so percentage change multiplied by percent so I can say divide by 100 or 0 0.01 and then multiply it by the average of unit cost so please understand what's happening here you're gonna say average of unit cost plus the change percentage multiplied the unit cost and if you get it over here this is the new unit cost so let's do some calculations real quick so I just moved it around so a 10% increase would be around four percent four dollars increase correct for the first one there you go so now let's do one more calculation which is going to calculate the new cost So create another measure calculation and this is going to be using the new cost unit cost which we created let's do that right click new measure and then add the total cost and there you go so if you increase by 10 percent this would be your new total cost Let's do some hands-on exercises. So hands-on exercise number 26. Download the data file from this location. Use the same PBIX file as in the exercise above. Now, calculate the impact of gross on the gross profit. Please note that the gross gross profit is sales minus cost. Create a gross profit new variable calculation with using underscore total cost new calculation and then calculate the percentage impact on the gross profit thank you for watching